Hello everyone. Today in this lecture we will be studying the Taylor series and the Lorentz series. Since you know that uh, we have studied that uh, complex analysis some topics that is analytic function we have covered, CR equation we have covered and one more topic that is a homogeneous equation. Homogeneous equation we have covered. Now it's time for these three power series, Taylor series and Lorentz series. Okay. And also we have covered that uh, Cauchy's residue uh, theorem and in this um, in and in UPSC means 2015 equation of 20 marks comes from these two Taylor series and Lorentz series so we will be discussing that equation also and I will be discussing the concept behind Taylor series and the Lorentz series okay so now let's start the question was like that find all the possible Taylor's and Lorentz series expansion of the function f of z equals to 2z minus 3 divided by z square minus 3z plus 2 okay about z equals to 0 and it comes for the 20 marks <coughs> sorry so you know so first we need to learn what is a Taylor series these two series Taylor series and Lorentz series these two are the power series okay we have already know that uh, this function f of z is an analytic function so I have mentioned this f of z that is analytic function if there is a circle or you can say that the curve in a circular path like say that curve c if all the value of z of what function f of z if all the value of the function f of z or you can say that the value of z of the function f of z are lies within the circle what I am saying जो भी f of z गिवन है उस पे उस कितने भी z की कितनी भी वैल्यू है ऑल दिस वैल्यू ऑफ z ऑफ द फंक्शन f of z मस्ट लाइज विद इन द सर्कल देन द देन इट इज सेड टू बी द टेलर सीरीज इफ दिस सीरीज इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इफ सॉरी इफ दिस सर्कल इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ रिंग दैट वी दैट वी कैन से दैट इज दैट इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए कन एक कंसेंट्रिक सर्कल यू कैन से this is a ring okay this is a ring this is in the form of ring circle c1 and circle c2 concentric means having the same center okay now if this is in the form of the concentric circle then the series is called as Lorentz series and for these two series there is no proof or there is no statement will be there you are just required as in the question as in the statement it is just mentioned that the function is given and you are required to just calculate the series expansion Taylor series expansion and Lorentz series expansion but it is not given in the question that which series uh, that uh, at which point you are required to calculate the Taylor series or the Lorentz series now it's up to you if you have the knowledge then what then at where the Taylor series is calculated or uh, at where the Lorentz series is calculated then it will be an easy question so if you are calculating inside the circle then it means then it means that you are calculating the Taylor series and if you are calculating the concentric or greater than portion then it is a Lorentz series okay Lorentz is for the greater and that series for the less or inside or you can say within the region within the circle uh, within a ring in the ring form okay ring form now solution uh, is not a uh, big deal before that you require to learn these things binomial expansion okay binomial expansion you must require to buy hard these formulas 1 minus x is to power minus 1 the formula will be 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube how to learn this so that यहाँ पे मैं आपको एक ट्रिक बताता हूँ ये साइन ऑफ माइनस ही है एंड साइन ऑफ साइन ऑफ माइनस ही है इफ बोथ दीज टू साइंस आर नेगेटिव द नेगेटिव नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव सो पुट ऑल द साइंस एज द पॉजिटिव इन द एक्सपेंशन ओके और इन द नेक्स्ट टर्म यू कैन सी दैट दे साइन ऑफ नेगेटिव एंड इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई द पॉजिटिव बाय द नेगेटिव नंबर देन यू विल गेट ए नेगेटिव सो इन दिस यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू ऑल्टरनेट सिम्बल्स signs not symbols alternate signs plus minus plus minus okay starting from one odd numbers minus and even numbers are positive 
now e raised to power x exponential expansion you must know 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial x cube by 3 factorial x 4 by 4 factorial and the series goes on okay now sin x and cos x you must remember these two okay i have uh, put i i can also say that you have to uh, check out the expansion of sin x and cos x but instead of doing that i have put the formulas for your convenience okay now comes out the solution of this question the question now first check the statement the statement was 2z minus 3 over z square minus 3 plus 2 about z equals to 0 so we are required to calculate the series which series i will be telling you now at a z equals to 0 so we have write this f of z equal to this now just do the uh, fraction of this denominator part we get uh, z minus 1 and z minus 2 now what uh, what i did partial fraction now i will be doing the partial fraction f r a c t i o n partial fraction okay how to do the partial fraction in a short manner in a short time just put z minus 1 here and the, then just put z minus 2 over here now if you put z minus 1 here then put this term equals to 0 if z minus 1 equals to 0 then z is equal to 1 okay now just put z equal to 1 in this and in this okay in this and in this now what you get 2 into 1 2 minus 3 minus 1 just put the value now it's a, now no i will not tell you that how to do the calculation just put the value of 1 except this except this you are required to put the value of over denominator and numerator part and you get minus minus this will get cancel and you will get plus 1 and now in the second part when you put z minus 2 equals to 0 then you get z is equal to 2 and when you get z equal to 2 then just put the values over here and here now what you get you get again plus 1 and now your f of z becomes 1 by z plus 1 by z minus 2 your f of z becomes this now your question starts now your question is you are required to calculate the three series uh, sorry two series taylor series as well as Lorentz series. So if you are uh, so the uh, before doing that, you must know the location of poles. Here, poles location z is minus one. That then this implies poles is located at z equals to one, and the poles is located at z equal to two. So there can be three cases: when more z is less than one, and when more z is greater than two, and when more z is uh, greater than one and less than two. So now you are required to decide which of these. is taylor series and which of them will form the lorentz series since this more when okay uh, instead of going that just start this this is the for first topic uh, first question when mod z is less than 1 when mod z is less than 1 this becomes taylor series okay because this is inside the circle this is taylor series now mod z is less than 1 so please uh, remember here i have told you this is 1 minus z raised to power minus 1 here this x this x must be less than 1 then this expansion works otherwise not now in this form when mod z is less than 1 then this formula th check out this formula 1 by z minus 1 plus 1 by z minus 2 now this will become what if you, you can take minus common or you can take z common if you are taking minus common and minus 2 over from this point what you get minus of 1 minus z why i take minus is question ke andar sabse important cheez ye hai ki hame common kya lena hai what we are required to take a common from this bracket okay if you are taking minus 1 common or you are required to take the z common now if you take minus 1 common from this point now what you get 1 minus z raised to power minus 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus z by 2 raised to power minus 1 you are taking minus 2 from this denominator part and minus 1 from this denominator part okay now this series will become minus of 1 minus z raised to power minus 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus z by 2 raised to power minus 1 now it's very easy for you to just to the binomial expansion of the series and uh, what is the binomial expansion i just told you 1 plus if the both these are negative then just all right the all these things will be the positive and uh, in this in this case also both the things are negative so this is negative and this is also negative this is z by 2 for the sake of uh, good visibility i am writing it 
this is z by 2 okay now you can do this now now we will be moving to the towards the second portion so i am changing the color for better looking when this will be the this will be the case when mode z is greater than 1 and greater than 2 so this series can be broken into two form when mode z is greater than 1 and when mode z is less than 2 okay when it is greater than 1 then what we are required to take the common now in this case we will be taking the common z if z is taken common then the series will become z is taken common then the series will become 1 minus 1 by z why i take z common the point is there because mode z is greater than 1 if i reciproc if i do the recipro reciprocal of this equation what becomes 1 by z will become less than 1 and what i want i want this term should be less than 1 okay i want this term should be less than 1 and this term is also less than 1 that's why i take z common from this and after taking the common this will become this and uh, mod z is less than 2 this becomes the same procedure so after solving this formula we will get this equation okay now in the third portion when mod z is greater than 2 if mod z is greater than 2 then this implies that mod z is also greater than 1 because koi bhi cheez thi do se badi hai to ek se to badi hogi for example 3 hai 3 jo hai do se bada hai to 3 ek se to bada hoga hi hoga 101% sure so in this form you are required to take the common z why because z is greater than 1 and z is greater than 2 2 so what we are required to do take the common z from this also and from this also after taking z common it will be very easy question okay just do the binomial expansion and you will get answer how you can do the binomial expansion just remember these these five or six formulas if you remember these then you will be getting your answer okay so thank you for watching this video or uh, please subscribe to my channel so that future le future lecture will be directly come to your email account and you will not need to go into the youtube to search whether the new lecture has been uploaded or not so thank you for watching this video